Oscars. Most are for technical achievement, with one nominee, costume designer Nyla Dixon, standing out. She's been nominated twice in the same category for Lord of the Rings and Last Samurai. Double Oscar nominee Nyla Dixon created 19,000 costumes for the Lord of the Rings trilogy. She and her team then moved to The Last Samurai and kept on going. So which film does she hope to win for? I think at this point I retreat and leave it up to everybody else. Um, simply because I have such strong feelings about everything mm. that we've done. And the bottom line for me is both Lord of the Rings and Last Samurai were created by the same costume department. At Peter Jackson's Miramar office, four other nominees gathered today, thrilled to be going to Hollywood. Exhilarated and exciting. It's hard to know what to do, what to say, but it was just so much. It's fantastic news for, for me. For art directors Dan Henner and Grant Major, it's deja vu. Their third Oscar nomination in a row. The two New Zealanders were behind the design and construction of more than 300 sets in the Rings trilogy, including Minas Tirith. Once again, incredibly exciting. Uh, and sort of, you know, I mean, hesitate to say unexpected, but certainly not something that I felt at all sure about. It's a bit of a whirlwind, really, but I must say, third time around, I feel a lot more relaxed about it, and I'm going to enjoy it probably the most, most of all this time. Joining the Art Design Fellowship is British artist Alan Lee, who before the Rings films was happy illustrating Tolkien's books, never thinking he could win an Oscar. It would be wonderfully gratifying. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to being in there and just um, absorbing some of the, uh, the excitement and the glamour. Also nominated is Weta Special Effects wizard Richard Taylor. The double Oscar winner for the Fellowship of the Ring is again up for two awards, makeup and costume design. I think it's going to be our year. I mean, the Globe, get it, winning those couple of nominations, the Golden Globes, um, I think has steered us in a little bit, a bit more on our side. And if Return of the King does win Best Film, it will create history. No fantasy film has ever won the award. Today for, uh, for Lord of the Rings, I think 11 nominations has made us all pretty pretty excited and pretty proud. Huge. It's, it's um, you know, obviously it's your peers that are, that are, are, are uh, giving you the, the nomination and, but, you know, you really get the, the awards from the people that are seeing the films. It's hard to describe, it'll just be huge. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it'll be great to leave the project on a high note. Just got a good feeling this year that, um, that, uh, we stand a good chance in the art direction department, but um, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that Peter will get the recognition that he deserves. Beyond your sort of wildest dreams as a New Zealand art director that something like this would come along. And just to get this far is pretty amazing. The little gold man, that'll be something you could take with you for the rest of your life.